I am Tatarkan and today we'll be continuing on to going through the Orcs Must Die levels and trying to get uh, 5 skulls on each from the first try. So, we are going to be at the corner level and we're going to try to get 5 skulls. Because we completed the previous two levels at 5 skulls, I was able to improve my tar. Tar pit, uh, in, in the, now it will be holding up uh, Orcs even longer. Uh, so much better, right? Exactly what we want. So, let's jump in. So. What do we need for 5 skulls? Well, we need to make sure that we do not die, that no orcs make it through, and that we do this all in a loaded time for us. So, here we are. So we're gonna look at here. And here's a new fortress. Uh, it has a bit of a corner here. And uh, you see there's not much in terms of ceilings except this area, which, which is like a little bridge that has a ceiling. There's also two acid uh, type of buckets here that if you shoot at them, during the actual gameplay. They'll drop and uh, pour acid on any orcs that make it through. You also have this bridge, so if here you can stand and shoot at orcs from here, or you can go all the way here and shoot at orcs from here. Not exactly necessary, though it does give you a nice line of sight to chandeliers, which could also be shot at and they will fall on the orcs. So you got additional things that you can use here. We're not gonna use any of that because we don't really need to, because the orcs are not gonna make it too far at all. Why? Well, because... Uh, the layout is pretty good. Like, yeah, we do have two asset uh, pools here, small ones, but uh, due to rails, they're not very useful. So let's um, open up the spell book and see what we got. So we're going to be fighting these two types of works: uh, the regular ones and the ones that shoot at us with the crossbows. Not exactly the greatest thing, but you know it's possible to live with this. I can take on five things with me, including the crossbow. Already, right? I do have six icons open up. That's because the next level allows me to do six things. Here, uh, on this level, you are only allowed to do five at the beginning. So we're going to do only five. I can pick uh, the usual, you know, blade staff thing, but I don't see the point to it. I actually, feel that the alchemist uh, satchel would be much better here because we have an enclosed space all the way through, which allows us to deal with the works, you know in a very good way when we use the uh, alchemist satchel as well as I will show you. We'll use the tar traps to slow them down. I did upgrade them for a reason. We'll use also the floor scorcher and we'll use the the ceiling zapper trap. There you go. So that's what uh, that's what we want and that's what we need here. So first thing first we're going to establish our first line of defense. As usual, we want to kill off orcs here as quickly as possible, as close as possible to the door, so let's not even let them go anywhere further because we are on the time limit. Let's go on, let's go ahead. So I'm just gonna grab this, I'm gonna press here, and I'm gonna pour, put one here of the of the bulbs with the acid right, right away forward, and you see, there you go. The use of the of this asset thing is, is great because it allows to give you time, well, allows to give you, your traps a time to reset. Eventually though, because it relies on magic, you do have to kind of, uh, you know, reset back to your crossbow because um, you don't have time to... You, well, your magic did not uh, did not have time to kind of bring back the bulbs. So here we are. Let's continue on. And I was talking a bit too much. Uh, it should be now moving away because the orcs that shoot with the crossbows have a tendency to stand in the doorway. Or uh, as soon as they're in range, they will stand there and shoot at you. They're not gonna move forward. Uh, but we want them to move forward because we want to have them be in a kill zone or to move into the traps there we go and as usual once you know we we run out of the mana again so here we go and i'm gonna put in a few more tar traps to control this and let's do this so for all of you who are wondering why is the game in French, well, I tried to practice my French, okay? So that's, you know, one way I see to, to do it is to play some video games in French. Especially the ones that I played before because it, I know the English translation and that way I can kind of uh, quickly pick up any words that I don't remember or don't know in French then. And as you see, we are pretty good at uh, keeping them really at the gates. There's no... 
there's no issue here. Otherwise, I would have to sometimes like when I'm when they do make it through, I would have had uh, use the the blade stuff, right? But I don't need to. I, the alchemist uh, satchel does a good job at keeping the orcs away. So now we got a second line of defense just in case, and let's go ahead. And we're gonna retreat further because again I want those orcs moving forward. There we go. And now we're just gonna zig and zag a bit and collect all the hits because even though we should have been trying to dodge them, alright? Uh, the, the bulbs with the acid will break sometimes. The other traps will break those bulbs. Uh, so as with any many other traps that are available that can be chained. It's all totally possible to do this here. To have our chaining traps, one uh, setting off the other. As usual, I fail to dodge. They shot at me. There we go. Good. All right. Again, more and more and more. Right, and because we have the money, we should also do this. And slow down orcs further. There we go, good. And uh, let's get some health back. I'm gonna shoot out the, uh, the acid. So it's ready there. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna recover some more mana. Again, we got the works that uh, with the crossbows that are gonna try to shoot at me. And there he goes. The, the uh, trap sets off m my bulb. And that deals with this one. Uh, that was, uh, I should have waited a bit longer for a few more orcs to show up. It cannot be always, you know. Do it. The best at timing this so you, with the alchemist satchel, but in, it's, it works. I don't always find it as useful. Here it's extremely useful because of the fact that uh, we do have uh, such a narrow car corridor here that we're using. And because we have the money, let's go ahead and set up a few more traps. And orcs are about to make it? No, they're not. And again, they didn't make it. Nice. Ah, I ran out of man, man again. There we go, good. Done. And so that's pretty much, again, a very quick, efficient way of getting rid of the works. Uh, do not let them get past too far into the fortress. There we go, we have five skulls. So looking at statistics. We, we, you know, we are good, really good on time, actually, I would say. All right, well, thank you for watching. And um, if you like this video, please like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. And please subscribe.